Hey there my friends, what is going on everybody? Vitaly Dobin is here, founder of Bitcoin Sports Lab, where we are helping people increase their wealth in Bitcoin and generate profits and income in crypto in a variety of ways. And today in Crypto Show, this Monday, we are seeing Bitcoin dumping about 5% and not able to keep up with the five weeks of going up in a row. We're about three weeks before the Bitcoin halving and so far we have not seen a big dramatic effect on the Bitcoin price rising up. And the big news of today is we're seeing the price of the crude oil absolutely plummeting down to zero almost. And uh, I want to discuss that and how it affects Bitcoin and the, what is going on in the world and how it affects Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency. So let's take a look at the market as we are seeing it right now. It's below $200 billion today. $198 billion. Bitcoin is trading right now at $6,877, down 4.58%. Ethereum, of course, following suit and, and the rest of the cryptocurrency market is falling slightly harder uh, than Bitcoin itself. And looking at the Bitcoin charts, uh, we did have a significant resistance level at $7,200, which we couldn't break here. And we didn't have enough of this bull power and didn't stay at the ascending channel over here. So with that, we did plummet right now to the lows of $6,760, now rising up a little bit. Looking on the weekly time scale, we are starting to put a red candle here on the weekly uh, time zone uh, and uh, so far it is not a significant volume but we are just starting the week okay so right now there is a bullish scenario playing out and uh, there is a chance that we might fall down further and partially the reason for this fall down today may be caused by an incredible crash and historical collapse of almost a hundred percent of the crude oil and you can see this massive massive red candle which puts the cfds on the uh west texas international crude oil at 0.01 at a penny now this is historic uh collapse that the market has not seen uh, you know ever <laughs> ever it didn't happen and uh, what is going on with that? Uh, we are seeing that the demand for oil is 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 going down and down and down. As, as Three billion people are expected to be at homes, and they're just people that are. There is no demand for the oil. People are not buying the oil. The spectacular collapse in oil market is showing no signs of easing as the coronavirus crisis saps demand and producers run out of places to store all the excess of barrels of crude oil. And oil storage facilities are still at risk of overflowing, uh, raising the chance that some oil producers in the US and Canada could start paying customers to take crude off their hands. <laughs> now, this is quite a scenario and uh, we are seeing Virgin Galactic chairman predicts uh, and says that actually oil goes to zero and it says see you near zero um wandel oil so what's going on here um we 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 have uh, we're witnessing a big collapse in the oil market uh and that uh, somehow does affect the bitcoin a little bit bitcoin is down today with a flood of physical crude set to hit the market there's producing more oil but there is no space to store all of this oil and there is no demand uh it takes it will take weeks not months for global oil storage space to run out and the gap between supply and demand in the oil market is expected to grow increasingly pronounced this month trading giant chief uh, econ economist now expects demand for crude to fall by 30 million uh in april as around 3 billion people remain under lockdown worldwide so we are seeing the crude oil prices plunge below zero for first time in unprecedented wipeout. Now, looking at the Bitcoin, we did see 
a very low volatility relatively trading uh, at a range between six thousand four hundred fifty dollars and seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars uh, if you know this indicator the Bollinger Bands they have squeezed and that typically means that a big move is coming out for Bitcoin when you see um, those bands uh, squeeze which means that we might see a dramatic move to the upside or a dramatic move to the downside now on the on the upside um, I did point out that we have this uh, gap in the uh, futures market that has not been closed at about nine thousand dollars so we might uh, go ahead and close that gap now moving on we do have an increase in demand for people that are getting into bitcoin um, as brian armstrong the ceo of the major cryptocurrency exchange coinbase pointed out and tweeted that the deposits in the amount of 1200 dollars had jumped uh, which hints that some people that receives the receive the coronavirus relief checks from the government of the united states might even be using the funds to buy cryptocurrencies and also uh, from the not just from the retail investors from the institutional investors we do have one of the world's biggest hedge funds with uh, 166 billion dollars under management said in the regular regulatory filing that its market beating medallion fund can now trade bitcoin futures and also last week uh, grayscale uh, grayscale said it raised 503.7 million dollars in the first quarter nearly double the previous quarterly high which means that more investors uh, institutional investors are getting involved in the bitcoin and cryptocurrency and also according to arcane research and norwegian cryptocurrency analysis firm wrote that the number of addresses holding more than 0.01 bitcoin has climbed by about five percent since march 1st to a new record um, high also for the positive side i do want to share with you about this uh, uh, quarterly buy signal that is approaching right now which signals a buying uh, opportunity so check this quickly. out uh, i'm going to play out the video for you uh, right now check it out you will trade opportunity here coming up for btc so I wanted to quickly discuss once in a quarter, once a year, biannual trade opportunity here coming up for BTC. It's really simple, it's really black and white, it's really boring, it doesn't happen very often, but when we get a bullish Kumo breakout like we did here, like we did here, like we get a bearish Kumo breakout like we did here, like we did here, 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 these are trend-setting trade opportunities that are typically a buy and hold, not investment advice, but buy and hold. Very boring, like I said, very easy. Also watching this decline in volume. I think it's gonna be chop, chop, chop until we're definitely above the cloud. So what am I watching for over the next few weeks? Cloud to flip bearish, bullish Kumo twist, as it's known, I'm waiting for bullish TK across here which is the blue and red line you can see that's almost the case now you'll notice I'm using controversial settings that I've used for the past six odd years 2030 120 30 this is doubled cloud it's effectively the two-day single settings you can argue with me all you want I use these settings because they make me money if they don't make you money don't use these settings what do I care So that essentially means a good bullish scenario. What do you what do you guys think uh, where Bitcoin is heading? Uh, I know, like I I know I believe that uh, Bitcoin is definitely heading upwards uh, after the halving event scenario. So um, over the short term, of course, Bitcoin can go down, but over the longer term, um, the chances are 
big that and high that Bitcoin is going to go up in value after the halving event, which is increasingly uh, fast approaching 21 days and 11 hours before the Bitcoin block reward uh, is going to be halved from 12 and a half coins per block to 6.25 coins per block. And uh, I also wanted to point out to you that uh, as uh, CZ, the CEO of Binance says, um, the mathematics just works. And, you know, that aggressive quantitative easing that we're seeing the trillion dollars that are being pumped into the economy um, and forced in response to the coronavirus pandemic where central banks effectively start printing new money could spark a bull trend in the coming months. And he said, mathematics works. If you increase supply of the fiat currency and Bitcoin is limited asset, mathematics will eventually work. And this is exactly what I think is going to be uh, playing out here. Uh, we are seeing more uh, funds uh, are opening this time. For the first time in Hong Kong, uh, where actually the government and the Securities and Futures Commissions allowed to uh, begin this index fund, a Bitcoin index fund dealing with a cryptocurrency, um, which is awesome. And they are uh, targeting a hundred million dollars in total assets under management for this fund. Um, what else is on the news? Um, the biggest news we have Libra from Facebook. Um, it is making some changes uh, to its coin and sweeping changes have been made to Libra's white paper with a view to making the product more palatable for uh, governments and central banks. Now, the single currency stable coins pegged to the US dollars, pound and euro are going to be created alongside a Libra coin backed by a ba basket of assets. So in the long term, I believe that it is, a, it is good for Bitcoin uh, as it will increase adoption of the digital currencies. And uh, by the way, we are seeing China actually uh launching its own digital currency uh na nationwide where people in china can use these digital currencies to buy um essentially uh in, in stores right so this is a trend that uh, it's a big trend uh, that we are seeing happening right in china and there will come a day where every country every country is going to use um uh, some kind of digital uh, currency and we'll see how it will compete uh, with uh, Bitcoin, as <laughs> you know, people will probably prefer to use a decentralized currency over a, a centralized currency. Uh, looking at the trends uh, in investments, Andreas and Horowitz doubling down on crypto with a new fund raising a $450 million in crypto. Um, so you can see the demand is, uh, is getting out there. Uh, which is good and uh, the, the the environment we are living in right now proposing two thousand dollars monthly stimulus checks uh, in us and canceled rent and mortgage payments for one year so when you start to give that kind of uh, free money uh, to people they get used to it and uh, probably that will become a situation where people will expect it and uh, demand it and uh, uh, with that the mathematics works probably in the direction of inflation and uh, you know devaluing the fiat currencies and that's also <laughs> probably the reason why bitcoin is going to go up in value as pegging it to the stable coin which is pegged to us dollar and if us dollar loses its value um due to the inflation and debasing the fiat currency then the price of bitcoin per the us dollar is going to go up and of course the macro environment of the uh, halving is playing its part so that's what i want to cover today in today's crypto show i hope that you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week and that you are taking advantage of all the opportunities that exist in the cryptocurrency space well you don't need to take advantage of all the opportunities but at least some of them that are going to move you one step closer into you getting uh, richer in the Bitcoin and in cryptocurrency to prepare for the next coming years and uh, being fully involved in the crypto, all right? 
So I hope you have a fantastic day and I'm going to uh, see you in the next episode.